Okay, pop-ups. Obviously a massive part of your hook bait options when it comes to fishing for carp. And most of the time, I'm quite happy to use pop-ups straight off the shelf, perhaps the high visual pop-ups from mainline or the food source pop-ups to match the boilies that I'm using. But I'll also carry a little tub of pop-ups just like these. And these are some pop-ups that I've rolled myself at home from the Polaris mix. And there's a number of reasons why you might want to roll your own pop-ups. Firstly, you can create whatever size or shape that you want. You might want an oddly shaped hook bait, perhaps a dumbbell shape. Or you may be fishing a water that's got a lot of nuisance fish and you want to build yourself a pop-up a lot bigger than normal, 20 mil, perhaps 25 mil, to deter the attention of those bream and other nuisance species. But probably the biggest reason why you might make your own hook baits is that you can choose the flavors and attractors that you include, as well as the flavor levels that you use. And that gives yourself a personalized edge and perhaps something that the carp have never seen before. And rolling your own pop-ups couldn't be easier. Start by cracking a single egg into a mixing bowl, or as I did with this mix, use two egg whites without the yolk, and that just gives you a little bit harder pop-up. Once your eggs are in the bowl, it's time to start adding your flavours. And I've used some flavours from the Profile Plus range, beginning with two mil of Raspberry Ripple, followed by one of the new flavours, three mil of white chocolate. And then to round those flavours off and palatise them together nicely, I've used two mil of the Hydra Sweet Intense Sweetener from the Response Flavor range. And then I've added around about a teaspoon of the white True Color dye. I've just stirred that in so that all my pop-ups will have the same amount of color and flavor. It's then time to start adding the Polaris mix. And just add that a little bit at a time, slowly building up your paste until you can no longer get the fork through the, the paste and you need to start using your hands to knead it together. A good sign that your paste is ready to roll is when it gets to a point that it's no longer sticky and wet, but it's still pliable, it's not dry and crumbly. It's not gonna be sticking to your hands and you can begin to sort of mold it together. Once it's at that stage, add your paste in one big ball into a plastic bag and just leave it to one side for a couple of minutes. And that, that time just allows the Polaris mix just to absorb every last bit of flavor that you've added. Once you've waited for a couple of minutes, it's time to roll your baits. And with a simple one egg mix, no equipment needed, all you need to do is just pinch off a little bit of paste, roll it between the palms of your hands to create your pop-ups. Takes a little bit of practice at first, but obviously practice makes perfect, and it won't be long before you're rolling all your baits, the same size, shape, nice round pop-ups won't take you very long at all. Once you've rolled all your baits out, you then need to cook them. And to do that, you need to put some water on the boil. And once it's ferociously boiling, as in like once you add your baits, it's not gonna take it off the boil, you can begin adding your pop-ups. Around about a dozen baits at a time, and I'll boil them for two minutes. Once they've boiled for two minutes, you then remove the pop-ups from the water and place them on a nice dry towel or an air dry tray to let them dry out. They'll need to dry like that for at least 24 hours before you use them. If you want them that little bit harder, then perhaps let them dry a little bit longer. Airing cupboard at home, somewhere like that, the perfect place to dry them out. Now, one question that we do get asked a lot is when I do make my own hook baits, how do I give myself a glug to match the custom blend of flavors that I used? And there's a really simple answer to that. What I've got here is a neutral hook bait enhancement system. It's an unflavored dip and all you need to do is take, in this case, the five mil of flavor and the two mil of sweetener that I've used to create my pop-ups, add them to the glug and you've then given yourself a customized dip that you can then dip your pop-ups in before casting out and boost the attraction. And there you go, you've got your pop-ups, but not only have you got your own personalized, customized hook baits, you're also gonna be casting out into the lake something that's gonna give you the ultimate satisfaction when you catch a fish on hook baits that you've rolled yourself.